the shift that's taking place and what it could do for you or to you emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. Um, who's feeling really emotional, depressed, yeah. anxiety, I know somebody, <laughs> despair, fearful, angry, reliving the life. No, I'm the complete opposite. That's I'm great. Excited. <laughs> I can't yeah, wait. I'm not angry, just very emotional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit of anxiety, but that depends on what's going on. But okay. Does it ever come on all of a sudden? Oh, like yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. About 7.30 at night? I don't know. It could be any time. <laughs> You're picking up. It's taking place. Mm -hmm. How about you? Anything? Um, lately, I've just been really... I've been a crier like this one, and my friends all thought I was pregnant for a month. <laughs> They're like, you don't cry. I'm like, I know. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, like the past few days, I've just been like, no. Like, it just went, go. I was like, Gah. And this is the shifting energy mm. that's taking place that is opening the doors. For so do I piece. change it or just go with it? You go with it. All right. Write it out. All right. Write it out. If there's something that you feel that is haunting you from the past, Write it out. Let well, it go. Open up your hearts. Mentally, constantly thinking, reliving your life. Evaluating it and dwelling over the past choices. Hmm. I know you fit this category. I know, but not as much anymore. Mm -hmm. um, well, because I went to therapy for a couple, back in 06 is when I went to therapy. And I really don't go back into past, you know, past problems or issues that went on. I kind of like shut the door on them and they left. So I really don't dwell on good much. So you've gone through that period. Yes, already. I feel like I have. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I, I feel sure. like I just, I, I've learned a lot since summertime. Mm -hmm. Once I graduated and stuff, then I focused more solely on myself. And I made a lot of peace with myself to where now I just look at everything as it's a lesson and I'm supposed to learn something. I mm -hmm. learn it and I move on to the next one. And so that way you can just grow as opposed to being stuck and repeating the same stuff till you get what you're supposed to get. Beautiful. So I, if, I, feel, I feel very at peace and I feel very comfortable and I no longer care what anybody thinks. You know, I'm like, well, that's your business. I know who I, I don't know. I just feel like I've, I've for 20 years I was at this, I feel I, I've grown 20 years in two months. Mm -hmm. You know, the two months time, I just feel from the meditation, from the talking, from the reading, I just feel like an entirely different person than I was in October. How about you, Hector? <laughs> like I said, the morning sometimes I get, it's real tiresome. Just wake up tired. Mm. Has anybody been feeling like a pressure on their chest, heaviness, hard to breathe? Definitely got a little congested mm -hmm. for about two weeks. But I have a head buzzing that goes on, like a heavy feeling in the in the head. I always feel like I got not a headache, but just like a like a dull, you know, like I I can't just a dull buzzing, not the sound. Just on top of your head. Yeah, at your, you know, right your crown, right here. At your crown and your um, the chakra in the back of your head called the dream of wells or well of dreams. And like a dizzy feeling, not dizzy, but just kind of mm. like. Out of it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how I feel like I've been for the last couple of weeks. It's just kind of out of it, but there's no reason to be out of it. Well, you're, well we're flying between two different dimensions, right? And I've been getting awful headaches, like crazy, mm -hmm. for two, two yeah. months, just mm -hmm. wacky ones. Yeah, because we're going through physical. Physical mm -hmm. was my next. Mm -hmm. Did you want to add something? Yeah, I was going to say, in, in my meditation group, one of the things we've been trying to do is raise our frequency so that the changes that are coming in or the influx of energy doesn't buzz the body mm. so that you're out of it or because that's what I think it's doing right it's saying hey you're supposed to be here but you're not and so your body's working to get there but that takes mm. you can mm. imagine mm -hmm. if you're not consciously trying to do so it could take a whole lot of energy out of mm. you. It could take a lot of energy and a lot of time and as the mm. The energy shifts up and down. Say so it went up and you're feeling really good, but then all of a sudden it comes crashing down because what do you have to work out on this level to be able to sustain this level? So the, the one thing all of you guys should be doing right now 
is to raise your frequency and vibration as high as you can. And that takes a lot of meditating and crystals. Carry crystals around with you all what over the place. What kind do you suggest? I would suggest Lumerian seed. Oh, I have one. <laughs> Quartz crystals. Um, if your heart hurts, if you have a lot of heartache, rose quartz, they're all different kinds. And then the higher crystals for the higher vibration, once you reach a certain uh, peak, then you can go into the higher crystals. And what are they? There are the pedialite, the azurite, the rosophiolite, um, peterosite. There's about 12 different ones. They're also recharging the crystals in the planet. This, these are called the as is, the nameless light. Once they finish charging in Brazil and in Arkansas, that will create an activation that the crystals around the world will be recharged to a different mm -hmm. frequency. And that's if they're in the ground or out of the ground. Cool. Because they're all connected. Physically, back problems, leg mm -hmm. problems, stomach problems, headaches. Yeah, I'm a cripple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it. Cripply coyote. I have a bar in my back. You don't have to tell no. me about back problems. No. Um, waking up at 3.30 in the morning, body aches, temperature changes. That's, I just chalk that up to menopause. Med yeah, menopause, because no. I wake up soaked. You would think I jumped in the tub. No, that's and I part freeze of your a lot. So you're, okay. You're going through cold and you're going through hot. It's not menopause. You're what, 45, you said? Mm -hmm. No. I and I've been menopause. I know what it's like. That's not menopause? No. I mean, I've been, and it only happens maybe once or twice a month where I'll wake up. Literally, you would think I jumped in the, sh in the shower and then decided to just go back to bed. I soaked. Would, I would look and see if it's a full moon that night, hmm. what, where the stars are, and see if that's what. Maybe it's I'll have to. I'll, I'll, I'll know. I have to start knowing things when it happens. Yeah. What about you? Uh, well, I always have to sleep in a cool, cool environment, regardless I, of the time. I of have year. to AC on. Mm. It's twenty degrees. Oh, oh my oh. gosh! I have a warming mattress. Oh, <laughs> that no. could be why I'm waking up soaked. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, to set the house on fire. <laughs> then spiritually, beginning to search for your life purpose a heightened intuition, a, a higher sensitivity, um, empathic feelings, feeling other people's emotions, um, a pull from your heart, almost taking you by a cord, directing you, showing you where to go and who to see and what to do. Mm -hmm. Does anybody feel that? I don't know. I think for six years I have <laughs> following the band oh, around. Oh, yeah, yeah. That would be one big thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Polls, that's what I say. I would say it from the start that something's making me follow you, you know, making me stay as close as I can to you. There's a reason for it, and I'm just going to continue to follow it. Then you continue to do that. Mm -hmm. I know that feeling, and it's a pretty strong feeling. Yeah, it is. Still, six years later, it's still... It's but, still but it's hard because as a mother we have to be home with our children and clean the house and well, do not only that it's, it's just I don't know sometimes it's kind of strange to be like this doesn't seem normal to have that such a strong feeling towards. but then again she's not saying though that they're the ones that told us though that we're part of the soul family and they're there's a mission the soul soul purpose. yes so mm -hmm. yeah they're they're opening up your heart and saying Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. taken them six years for them to, uh, for me to finally realize, oh, <laughs> this is where I belong. Took me, Are you they, sure? They put me on my back before I got with the program mm. because I started having out of body experiences at twelve. Oh. The Kundalini awoke mm -hmm. in me when I was twenty-one. Wow. And and then further out of body experiences and. And I've had a few, but only at shows. Oh, only at shows? Mm -hmm. What kind of out of body do you have? Because there's several different types. Okay. I'd like to explain them um, to you. One would be where, um, just almost where I feel like I'm floating. floating. You mm -hmm. know, that's pretty much what it, you know. With my eyes, you know, my eyes are closed, so I could just kind of feel myself just floating. floating. That's mm -hmm. you know, that's I think the only kind I've had okay. to where I just feel like I'm floating. That's great. Mm -hmm. How about you? Out of body. Mm -hmm. I, th 
I think I feel like there's so much that happens. Like I just don't keep up. With yeah. It. Yeah. Because I'll have them, but like I won't even realize that I'm having them. Like it'll just I don't know. Did you maybe try getting a journal? And I it? should. I'm not yeah. a journal keeper. You might be now. I know. I might have today. Because things could be happening and we don't even know it. We're exactly. not even. We don't even realize right. it because we're not paying attention to I the mean, signs. Like yeah. two months ago, I I literally had a conversation with my girlfriend. I'm like. I can see the pages turning of my life, and I know what's happening on the next page already before it turns. Same. She goes, go with it. Just go with it. It's like, you know, when you're in the hallway and you know what's behind that door? Like, I just know it. I just, I could just feel the doors, and I just grab them, and I'm turning them. That's synchronicity. It was that's amazing. very powerful. <laughs> when you can cool, think of something, cool and it comes to pass, that's synchronicity. Yeah. That's where you want to get to. Yeah. <laughs> How about you? Well, I don't know. I mean, spiritually? Hmm. I had one outer body experience that was very powerful where I completely left the body and just looked at it as it was going through some dramatic things. Mm -hmm. So it taught me something about myself and capability wise, what we're able to get through. Mm -hmm. uh, that was one powerful one. I've had one under the influence of drugs that was weird and scared me. And so that trapped me a little and, and it actually pulled me away from spirituality without me knowing it indirectly. Yeah. So actually I got scared because I yeah. wasn't sure mm -hmm. what was going on. And then uh, recently I've had some that have been just floaty. Mm -hmm. But like I said, and I've mentioned that to you before, but I almost had one recently and it was fear that kept me inside this time. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about that. I did not want to leave this mm -hmm. physical density. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could not part with my body. What I guess mm. what you would call ego, I guess. Or, oh. or was it fear? Okay. It was fear of leaving the physical yeah. body behind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I was being called to purpose, but I couldn't let go. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't let go. And so mm -hmm. that's sort of where I've been in the past couple of weeks. I, on the other hand, I'm like, let's go. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> She's unbuckled. <laughs> I, am, I feel the first one I, I ever had to make me feel like I can, like, oh my God, meditation, I can do this was yoga class. I take one credit health and wellness course, mm -hmm. and one class at the end where you do dead man pose laying there, I had that floaty where the floor becomes the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ooh, that's cool. But only once then. And then when I did this, that was made me think, oh, all right, I can maybe meditate if I Google a couple of things. And then that first one with that, that was more of a sometimes I see myself, sometimes I am myself in some some visions. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's other times, too, where I felt like, like flying through the universe, like seeing the cosmos and stuff like that. Other times I've had, like, people... Uh, or an angel, something like see the big wings behind me. Mm -hmm. um, all kinds of s just so different uh, feeling. And then, like, too, just laying there, getting into meditation. Just the actual feeling of, like, the door flipping and going. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I don't know That's where I'm going, but I'm but somewhere. You're going. <laughs> I'm somewhere. And I'm pleased as pie to leave my body <laughs> behind. <laughs> It is a beautiful I'm not afraid. I, I, I'm fearless. <laughs> <laughs> I started meeting at 12, mm. where I went into the abyss, and, and very peaceful. Um, but then I also had this, this vibration mm. that just came up my entire body. And at that point, I didn't know what, what it was. Being raised Catholic, I thought it was the devil. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there, please, Mother Mary, please, Jesus Christ, get this stuff. I don't know what's going on, but I don't want anything to do with this. And, and I fought it time and time again, and one day I just went with it. And I was brought to a different location, and in front of me were two white homes. Okay, what's the big deal with two white homes? But next to me was my master, the master, and uh, asked me if I wanted to fly over and see the Crystal City. Mm -hmm. And I said, I can't fly. You take my hand. Well, there was no hand, it was energy.